All right, everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> so, um, I had a request from somebody to make more of the informational videos and the spreadsheets and all of that. So I guess um, I'm going to put an idea out there and see what the general consensus is to making some of these videos. Um, as you can see here, I have my Snap Plus pamphlet here or binder with all of my stuff in. Um, this is a class that I took to be certified to do my own nutrient management planning on the farm. Um, and in Wisconsin, it's called Snap Plus. I am sure other states have similar software to Snap Plus. Um, you can look back through my videos about a year or so ago. I did a quick video of Snap Plus on my computer. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to show some of the information that I have in here quick and then see if there's any interest in videos on any of the topics in here. Um, anyways, as, as some of you know, I took a six year course through a local tech school here and it was called farm business and production management um, and then I also went back and took this course to be certified to, to do my own nutrient management planning on the farm um, anyways every four years I have to go back to school to get recertified or to up my credits for this but um, Here's my certificate from the, the six-year program. But on the Snap Plus, I mean, it's, if you guys want to see anything here, you can pause at any time. But I'm just going to go to page through quick to some of the information that will be pretty beneficial to a lot of people who maybe haven't taken, taken any nutrient management classes or stuff to deal with soil health. Um, I'm just going to kind of page through here and you can pause at any given time. Um, this is all, all stuff that is covered in nutrient management. Um, what have you. So if we get back here, I mean, there's stuff in here for determining your manure spreader loads and how much you're hauling out and all that happy stuff. Then we have our restricted areas where we cannot spread in the winter time or on frozen ground. Um, page back through here more. Then we get to this valuable piece of information. This right here is a quick guide to manure production. So this right here gives you an example of what an animal produces for manure or waste. Um, and some of these numbers have been updated in the last four years. Um, when you're talking, let's see, this one's already been updated on here. They do have it at 10 pounds now of K2O per ton of manure. Um, this is just a quick guide. Like, this is your production estimator, your output, what your animals produce. And then if you look at this sheet, it gives you an example of what you need for fertility to grow your crops. Um, basically, it's, it's more of removal rates for what you remove for a crop. You know, if you're looking at this right here, and this is going off your soil test levels, 
that you got to have a soil test first to know where even where you're sitting to begin with. And then these rates are basically <clears throat> just to remove or to replace what you have removed. Um, it, it's, it's very good information for everybody. Um, people who don't sell crops that feed it back to the cattle obviously do not have to buy near as much commercial fertilizer to replace what they have removed. Um, but if you're somebody who, say, sells the majority of your hay, say you keep 25% of your hay and you sell 75% of your hay, well, it's nice to know what your animals produce for nutrients to replace what you have taken. And then it's also nice to know if you sell 75% of your hay, what that has removed from your fields that you need to replace in order to maintain what you're producing or how much you need to add in fertilizer to your fields if you say have a set goal of you want four ton of the acre of hay you know so this is for alfalfa and then you know it's giving your nitrogen credits if you're going to plant corn behind alfalfa or clover or any legume for that matter um Corn nitrogen guidelines here if you're raising corn you know it's here's your yield goal you know and then it's right here again it's coming off your soil tests your phosphorus and your potash what it's going to remove then you have your n ratio for your corn now we're back to the manure part and then right here is your analysis for um, your fertilizers that you would buy, um, like potash, potassium, most of us buy potash, your 0061 or whatever most of them are, like ours around here is 61, here the range is 60 to 62, so this gives you an idea of what those are, you know, and there's giving you what they're talking about. They're, they're talking about soil pH a little bit. So, right here, I've explained this to a few people, but I've never made a video about it. For every ton of hay you remove in dry matter, it takes 60 pounds of K2O, or approximately 100 pounds of potash, to replace each ton that you took off of the field. So there's just kind of a quick guideline. You can pause and look at that. Um, conversions and all that stuff. So like I say, if there's any any interest in any of this stuff, like discussing it more, um, let me know. And I can show more of my Snap Plus program. We can go through and, and make up fields. And make up herd sizes and everything to get manure production estimates and everything um, so if there's any interest in any of this let me know um, there have been a few people that have asked for information on this stuff um, I just want to know more if what if there be a lot of interest in it or if I'd be better off just doing some of those as a one-on-one -on -one, um, with these people that are interested um, so, yeah, anyhow, if there's any interest, let me know. Let me know what you guys think on that. Um, there's a few different options we can do. Um, other than that, yeah, it's, if you have any other ideas for videos that we can make um, in the off-season right now when there's more time to sit in front of a computer and make spreadsheets or whatever, um, shoot me a message or a comment. Give me some ideas what we can do, and I'll see what I can come up with. So, anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Catch you all later.